All right, so we left the people of God as they had just come out of Egypt. And so I'm going to draw this for you, and hopefully you will appreciate my map drawing expertise. But here's Egypt. This, of course, is the Mediterranean Sea. And then here we've got the land of Canaan. So this is their final destination. This is where they want to go. They have not made it there yet. Um, however, they have crossed through the Red Sea and God gave them that miraculous deliverance from Pharaoh and Pharaoh's army at the Red Sea. Oh, what color should we use for the people? So they have come out this way, they've crossed through the Red Sea, and now they're in the wilderness, but they're going to make one stop along the way, and that stop, before they get to Canaan, that is, which is their final destination, and that stop, that's a mountain, um, they're going to stop at Mount Sinai, and it's here that Yahweh is going to approach the people and speak to them through Moses. So that's kind of where we're at in our story. Now I'm going to clear this away. Hopefully you've got it in your notes because this is a masterpiece, um, but we won't get to see it for the remainder of this lecture. So here we go. Clear all drawing. All right, now we're going to stop doing this, stop doing the annotation and we will come over here to our Prezi. All right, so you can see that I've used this really nice Prezi background that has mountains because the people of God are going to meet with God at Mount Sinai. So this is where we're at. Um, as we move through the last half of Exodus into Leviticus, this is the location that you're supposed to have in mind. The people of God are at Sinai, and here God is going to give them a new covenant. So we've had one covenant with Abraham already. Now we're getting our second covenant. And this is what, this is how Yahweh is going to explain it. Hey, I just saved you from slavery in Egypt, and now I need you to do something for me. So stop off at this mountain, and I am going to give you the law. Now the part of the law that we're most familiar with usually are the Ten Commandments. Most people kind of know that those exist. They may not know what's involved in them, but they do know that the Ten Commandments exist. And that is a part of the law that Yahweh gives to the people. So here's a little 